Yo, it's your boy 3CP. Be back at it again with some damn Madden. I got a video I'm gonna talk about uh, college. Uh, I guess I mean, how did college make it better? How did they figure out how to make a good game? Like they, we started off, start off bad. We, we all got it. We all gotta uh, admit, college football 25 started off really bad. Like and they do the patch and everything got good. Madden has been doing this for years and they can't they can't seem to get it right. And I'm like, uh, what's the problem with why is it a nuke? The people who work on Madden aren't the same who work on college football. We, we know that. So that means people at Madden are just bad at their job and they've been able to have a job for so long. And hopefully that they see this and I would even care. I would even say if y'all stop playing ultimate team in Madden and play college ultimate team, which I don't care for college ultimate team, but if y'all just go start playing college, maybe they'll even give them a chance. Like, okay, look, we might need to uh, make Madden pretty good because we, we can get money. Like I know they're making their money on ultimate team anyway, but if they lose the sales in Madden, a lot of people don't like the college football game as much. I mean, I think their sales will go down a little bit because more people like to play the, the college football, the downstairs and stuff, but it'll be some still play ultimate team, yeah, but they won't make as much money. But anyway, man, we're going to do this. I'm going to get the NFL pick. I, I, I said, man, we just combine this with Madden and this just because it don't make sense. To, I made a little video and they like, got like fucking four views, five views. My first two got like a hundred or something. Then all of a sudden got this. So fuck it. Let me just play with the Steelers and do this, come and do this recap of the NFL. So Broncos and the Saints, the Broncos, um, their kicker was pretty much making a lot of kicks. So I didn't get to see much of the game, but I know that the Saints are still terrible right now. They lost what, four in a row, five in a row? The most overrated 0-2 team ever because I was like, I, I just, I, I didn't believe them, so I hope y'all didn't jump on a bandwagon either. But anyway, Patriots, Saints, Patriots, just gonna have to just figure out what they're gonna do with Jake. I mean, I guess you have to give him time. He like, he, he looks like he might be able to play, but I guess it ain't, it's going these niggas gonna have to give some time, a year or two, maybe get some weapons. Jaguars, they're just better than the the damn uh they're just better than the Patriots right now. Or at least not just better, they just play better. And hopefully uh, I think they finally can get back from damn London or whatever. Um Lions and Vikings though. The Lions are a nice team like Jared Goff. I, could, I wouldn't believe that Jared Goff would be the one sitting here going 18 out of 18. Like, I don't know what it is about this dude that they just made this dude like so accurate and playing right. Um, the Vikings, they are who they are. They, who we didn't think they'll make pick. Give me that, give me that shit. We didn't think they're going to even be this good. But the fact that they they could have won this game, and um, uh, it they, they they legit maybe sound on it maybe just cause the the Jets the 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 Panthers so it was they play for the Panthers too no the Jets for so the Jets and the Panthers because that's where these quarterbacks came from and then they all of a sudden just start playing crazy, uh, playing good. Um, the Titans and the Bills the Bills got Mari Cooper, um. And I don't think it, it, it makes them way. It does make them better. Um, but the uh, the Titans still they don't they what I think I think they wants to do wants to trade uh Jerry whatever uh Kevin Ridley whatever I think uh, he mad I don't know what I don't I ain't heard DeAndre DeAndre Hopkins name forever but I don't know if he's still even playing. But oh yeah, they pretty much just screwed them over over there. DeAndre Hawkins should deep damn I have to do that pick. 
he deserves to be on a better team, man. But uh, Dolphins and the Colts, so you thought he would be two supposed to be coming back. I don't agree. They said, but we should see a different Dolphins team. I mean, um, Colts are just Anthony Richardson. If he plays, he plays well when he plays. But he got to stay. This nigga got to stay healthy, and he'll play good. Then I next week he might crack his rib or something. So you never know with this with Anthony Richardson because he won't stay healthy. I think it's gonna have. That's what's gonna like plot his career. He's gonna have to. He's gonna be ended up. This nigga just don't. He's gonna probably be injury riddled or like he's gonna like kind of like a RG three D kind of like a like that. I think he's gonna. It's gonna. Injuries are going to keep him from just showing his full potential. But uh, he got the win. And now we're going to the Texas and the Packers. No, not Texas Packers. The Seahawks and the Falcons. The Seahawks beat the Falcons. I'm surprised. I'm not even surprised because the Falcons were supposed to be, wasn't supposed to be good in a way. So we, we, but they just had one of them games where they played. They didn't play as good. They, got, they still, I think they still, Legit, because they should be better than that division. Or is the Buccaneers will probably be better. I think the Buccaneers are better than the Falcons, but well, um, Seahawks, Geno Smith. I mean, they still rolling. So, um, like I said, I think they can still beat the forty. I think they can beat the Forty Niners again when they play them again. I think they can beat them. Uh, Texans and Packers over right here. This one, CJ Styles worst game, but he only lost about two. So I wouldn't just say, oh, he's he's over now. But you can't throw for no goddamn 80 yards. That's just not good. But uh, we put Justin Fields. I've been switching in with Justin Fields and Wilson. Like, I I do both of them here when I play with these guys. Uh, Eagles and Giants. Giants suck, man. I ain't finna say much else about it. The Giants suck. The Eagles, they supposed to be them. Even though the Eagles can let down. But, uh, yeah, Giants suck. Raiders and Rams. The Raiders are just trying to get by this season. Oh my God, I almost had a good play. I didn't even, why this game just, I didn't want to, I wanted to hand it off and they wouldn't have me hand it off. Um, the Rams, or I think they got Cooper Cup back, so that's just, that's good for them. But, uh, hell, the way this division is or whatever, the 49 is not looking good. They might be able to, to actually stay in it and win the division. But, uh, Panthers are commanders, you know, the Panthers, so they are terrible. Commanders do got hurt. They quarterback got hurt, but they still are better than the than the damn Commanders. I mean, the damn Panthers. They just need to just redo that team and move them somewhere and just restart and just start the whole season over and just start the whole city or move the team to fucking on a make them to South Carolina or to Kentucky. I don't know somewhere. Um, Chiefs and Forty Niners. Wow, Brock. Purdy, we do like three, three picks, three picks, two picks. You see what happens when you ain't got a, he can't even got super all around and then people are making excuses. Oh, it's because he ain't got his, he ain't got no, he ain't got nobody at the well. Remember, everybody, even I, Brady had nobody to throw to. Brady didn't have no all pros. He made people like. Julian Edelman, Brown, uh, Amendola. He's winning guys with the guys who should be bagging groceries. And he was winning Super Bowls with these guys. Pat Mahomes was running around with third stringers last year. And this year, he's damn near running with third stringers again and winning Super Bowls. So don't give me that, oh, he ain't got Debo. He ain't got Ayuk. He ain't got this. And Ayuk was, he, he stole money from y'all. And y'all 49 fans. Because that nigga wasn't doing nothing until the last week until he finally showed up. He scammed all that money. You know, all that damn money and he didn't do a damn thing. But yeah, 49ers. Brock Purdy is just, he's not elite. That's why I'm glad I'm tired. Y'all always want to put these quarterbacks in these, these, uh, these categories with people like Lamar and even Josh Allen, who ain't won much. He won more than Roy. Well, I know because Bert Purdy went to the Super Bowl. Anyway, yeah. He went to the Super Bowl. Yes. He went to the playoffs his first year, but he had 
it was it's it's because it's Shanahan. You take him and put him on the Vikings, put him on the Panthers, put him on anywhere else. Brock Purdy is average and regular. Um, that's the that's what happens when you just average and regular. That's what Brock Purdy is. He just middle of the pack, average. He's not great. He's not elite, but he's not bad, bad. But you can see he he does make a lot of mistakes. He's average. He's decent at times. He can be. He can play good. But he's that's a Chiefs and Pat Holmes have been playing well all year, and hey, they still undefeated. I just want to see what happens when they actually put together a good game. That's gonna be scary. Now I don't know. Like I said, he don't got he, Juju got hurt, so it's close. Um, then the Jets and the Steelers. I don't know, man. I feel sorry for Devontae Adams for having. He went there to with Aaron and Aaron. I mean, it's apparent who the problem is. Aaron's not playing good. They thought it was coaching. No, they might have played worse with with the damn coach who got fired. They might have got played worse with the with the damn new coach. I mean, everybody's trying to make it. That's what Aaron's trying to put the blame for. Like at some point, it's just time to say, "Look, Aaron, you're not playing good. It's time for a change." Put another quarterback in there and see how good he plays. If he'll see if, see if Devontae and, and Jets play better with a new quarterback in that pick. Um, but, yeah, the Steelers, they moved to Russell Wilson. I think that was the best bet to do because um, he's better suited for the offense. But using him as fields, like I'm using the Steelers right now, using fields and, uh, and Russell Wilson – you can you can do something with all you pick. You can you can you can win with that if you get some few packages and let him do this, do his thing, you know, you can you can win with that. But uh oh that okay. Yeah, that dude could I, I, I literally I wasn't even trying, y'all, and I was winning that game. I won that game easily. Uh Ravens and the Buccaneers. Lamar might be the MVP again. I mean, who else is playing better at quarterback or running back besides him and Derrick Henry? Him, Derrick Henry, and uh, what's the other guy's playing pretty good? I think that's it. No, that's not. Yeah, maybe you can say a receiver like Tyree. No, no Tyree. I mean, Jefferson, maybe. I don't know. It's, tell me who y'all think could be MVP. But yeah, they they could they could very well be undefeated. They should very well be undefeated if you think about it. Even them beating my my Chiefs, they should have beat the Chiefs probably. Um, but anyway, man, I like what the Ravens, Buccaneers. I still like them to win that division. They look better than the Falcons. That's uh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good matchup to see who those two. I get an edge to the Falcons. I mean to the Buccaneers though. Uh, Chiefs and Cardinals. I'm just got the Cardinals got the win because I was gonna jump off the bandwagon if they lost this one. They won, uh, not a dominating win, but it was two points, man. So, hey, they did what they had to do. Uh, but other than that, man, I got, I don't know, man. Why this one I don't like? I don't like this new ranking system. So they 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 reset the record though, which is kind of good because my first record was kind of bad because I was figuring this game out. And then I hate this game at times, so people don't play. So I've only lost two games now. Uh six and two. But it's on recess, so it's like no reason to keep playing unless I gonna hit, hit the top one hundred just 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 to say, hey, I made the top one hundred and it's gonna reset and I gotta start over and get better again. So I I don't know if that is a good idea to do I me, mean, yeah. You you try to get it, but you don't get. I mean, if they gonna give us ultimate team rewards for making a top one or something, having to start over and get back to the top one hundred. I mean, what is? I just don't like that. I just don't like it. You you gotta restart. Then you the the worst part about it, you gotta play them damn placement games where you gotta play those five games that don't count until you play all five. Then they place you okay. We'll place you in this division to ten. If you went off five of them, you easily get to like the elite. Or if you lose one or two, like I did, I lost two. I got jumped in the bronze two, and I'm at silver now. So I don't know, man. I I, I don't like I just, I just don't like the way they did it. 
I'd rather them do it like college football, man. How they got it right. They College football got everything right. The road to the playoffs is by far the best mode to play. And it's more fun. You can play with different teams. It's just, and you always try to make that playoff to make the win national championship. And I haven't won one yet, but I will win one before this season is over. But, uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think, man. That's how I recap all that. We out.